Hello everyone, today we'll be making a creamy, delicious and a very comforting dal recipe. So without uh, wasting much time, uh, let's get started. So today I've taken a uh, three-fourth cup of dal and uh, roughly chopped two tomatoes and uh, added um, a pinch of turmeric and uh, boiled it with uh, three to four whistles in a pressure cooker. In a pan, I have taken 5 tablespoons of coconut oil and it's heated up. So to that, I'll be adding a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Once the mustard seeds crackle, then we'll be adding jeera seeds. So now we'll be adding a teaspoon of jeera seeds. Some hing. And then I have I've slit four green chilies into half. And then with that some curry leaves. Next, we'll be adding a hand a fistful of methi leaves. I've not chopped it, just adding it just like that. You just wash it and just uh, adding in just the methi leaves. Then saute it for some time. Now the methi leaves have almost cooked so now I'll be adding a teaspoon of red chilli powder then saute it for some time then we'll be adding the dal to it. Now it's the time to add our dal to it. After adding the dal, see how beautiful it's looking. To this, I'm adding a quarter cup of water. We'll be adding uh, salt according to the taste. After adding salt, we have to stir it for some time and then let it close the lid and let it boil. <coughs> it's been three minutes now, so we'll see how it's going on. As you see, it's boiling nicely. So it has to become still thick. It has to boil until it becomes thick and creamy. As I forgot to mention earlier, for this recipe, I have used tur dal. This is the consistency I like, I prefer my dal to be. So it's left up to your choice what is the consistency if you like it to be thicker you can boil it some more otherwise if you like it to be watery you can off it a bit more earlier now i've off the stove and now you can see how beautiful it's looking thick creamy consistency it has got i'll be garnishing the dal with some coriander leaves You can you can serve this uh, dal with some steaming hot rice with some ghee on it. 
and some pickle papad so please give this recipe a try and let me know in the comments below please do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching